G'day everyone, I am Rachel Rara and this is my channel book piles, uh, a book, a channel rather sharing my love of books. I am in New Zealand, I am a one take wonder so I am doing my best to get through this without too many uh, incidents. <laughs> uh, yes, so I um, actually started my channel a couple of years ago and uh, after a death in the family stopped it, uh, just my reading disappeared and uh, it's only in the last couple of weeks where I've really got enthused for reading again. So I thought I would start the channel again and document how this year goes. Um, I thought I would redo the newbie book tag, newbie booktuber tag, <laughs> uh, because I did actually, I believe, delete all the videos that I had from two years ago. Um, so I thought basically we're starting from scratch. For the few people that didn't unsubscribe from my channel, because I have still have a few subscribers, um, probably you didn't even know you were still subscribed and this is going to pop up in your um, feed and you're going to go, who knows that? Um, anyway, thank you for not unsubscribing. <laughs> and for any new people that tag along, welcome to the journey. So I thought I would do the newbie book tag and talk a little bit about my reading my sparse reading over the last two years pretty much um, and a little bit about what you can expect to see on my channel. Um, as far as why I'm called book piles <laughs> you will see I um, I care for my mother who has dementia so I live in, in my parents home therefore I have very little space so I have this bookshelf here um, which has got piles up the top here. This is the this is the top of the bookcase, so this is all piled above. Uh, I have piles on either side of the bookcase as well, um, and then I have one more bookcase behind the camera, which has all my non-fiction stuff on it. This, other than this this pile here, that's all non-fiction newer books I've got. Um, the rest of this is all. Uh, just checking if you can see I think there is one more but anyway um, the rest of this is all fiction um, so anyway so let's do the newbie tag uh, even though um, I did do this two years ago but that video is no longer exists um, so the first question I'm going to refer to my notes which are just <laughs> the camera is perched on a cat tower <laughs> uh, so there is a cat asleep in the corner, but she hopefully will just stay where she is and won't cause any problems. Right, I digress. The newbie book tag, why start the channel? So I thought I would do it again uh, as a log of what I have done for me. Um, so what my reading is like for the year. Record a bit more than I would normally do. I'm going to go croaky. I have got some water. Uh, and also just to share, you know, I love watching other people's book channels and seeing what they read and maybe there is something that I write, I read that you might go and look for. Um, I am a Kiwi, I don't know if that's going to bring a different perspective. I am a single woman uh, of a certain age, uh, otherwise known as a spinster. <laughs> um, and, you know, I'm just going to read what I'm going to read and... Uh, hopefully some people might be interested in picking up a few things that I show you. Uh, the second question, uh, the channel that I watched to get the tag from only had seven of the ten questions and I decided not to go through every video trying to find the other three. Um, I remembered one of them that wasn't included in the seven so um, hopefully we'll cover most bases with what I've got here. So fun and unique things you can bring to YouTube. I'm a single Kiwi woman. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, I find this question really um, weird isn't the right word. Unnecessary. I, I'm going to be bringing the love of the books that I read to YouTube. Um, you know, and there are going to be people who enjoy what I read and there are going to be people for whom my genres are not theirs and they will move on. You know, so I am what I am. What am I most excited for about this channel? Sharing, uh, meeting people, even if it is virtually. Um, you know, 
those sorts of things, picking up new tips and uh, being enabled by people um, and enabling people. Uh, why do you love reading? I think it's a standard answer for everyone. It's escapism. Um, it's also educational. You know, you learn about other people's lives. I do like a mix of fiction and non-fiction, so that you know the learning is there. Um, escaping into another world, broadening your horizons. Um, you know, just getting into a little bubble for a little while and enjoying what you're doing. Uh, number five, book or series that got you into reading? And, and also there was another question in the set of ten that said, well, when did you start reading? Um, I can't give a specific book because I think I've always read. I do have, and I actually meant to pull it out in a pile down there. I'd, get, I'd make you seasick if I showed you. I have my childhood copy of Charlotte's Web. Um, and I obviously love that enough to keep that book forever book or series yeah it's uh, it's hard to say i have i've always had books i've always read i was always read to so um i like having my books around and seeing them all those sorts of things so uh what questions would you ask um a fellow booktuber or a favorite booktuber um yeah I don't know that I actually would ask them necessarily any questions. I'm interested in seeing what the people I enjoy watching read, um, finding new books, new authors, those sorts of things. So, um, what challenge do you think starting a booktube channel will will there be? Uh, will be the hardest to overcome? Actually, knows. Uh, probably the technical technical stuff be behind the scenes like being able to cut that bit out and replace it with something you know itchy nose those sorts of things I am currently a one take wonder I record on a second generation iPhone that's locked to the UK um, I do however I have purchased in the Christmas sales a, a vlogging camera I'm just waiting for it to arrive so things should change a little bit um, yeah, the technical stuff behind the editing, making it look decent. Um, I'm one of the things that I had four years ago is that I put makeup on to do videos. I don't wear makeup as a rule, and I decided this time around that I'm not going to conform um, and and have a slapped on face. I don't enjoy wear, wearing makeup, so. Um, you know, that might be challenging to some people to see it, but I, I actually don't care, you know. I don't I do not like the feel of makeup on my skin, so I just don't I don't wear it. Um and the other question that wasn't in the original seven that I found on the video I watched, but I remember was in the ten is what do you actually read? Um which to me really is some of these questions I feel like we need a better newbie book tag personally. Um but anyway. <laughs> what do you read? I read uh, fiction and non-fiction. Uh, I like uh, contemporary um, fiction. Um, I like historical romances, historical fiction. Um, what else do I read? Well, I'd read sort of drama -y type things. I like non-fiction books on history. Um, gosh, what else have I got here? I've got a lot of dual timeline books at the moment. Um, I'm looking in the in here to see <laughs> what I've got. So that's history books, the Ken Follett books. That's non-fiction. I like a lot of um, American stuff. I call myself a Yankophile, which is not a word. I just made it up. But if you're familiar with Francophile or Anglophile, um, I'm a Yankophile, I like things American, so I've got books about presidents, I've got Obama's book, the next one up there, that's Thomas Jefferson, um, there's a book about George Washington there, I've got a book about, from all the letters of George H.W. Bush, I've got a book of his, I've got books on the Underground Railway and the, the Western, you know, the land, the land rush to the West, that's a, you know, I like books that cover all those sorts of things as well. So um, 
I don't, it's probably easier for me to say what I don't like. <laughs> I'm not into science fiction. I'm not into paranormal. Um, I've never read a Harry Potter book. I've never watched a Harry Potter movie. Um, I would like to read some classics, but I don't really go looking for them. Uh, what else do I, I don't like to be scared. <laughs> so I don't read horrors or, you know, really graphic crime novels. Um, I did read two years ago, November Road, Lou Burney, um, which is centred around uh, Kennedy's assassination. And I found that book quite gruesome, which probably for a lot of people it wasn't. But, um, you know, he's toddling along, helping a woman on the side of the road, and then he cuts the throat. Uh, yeah, no. So, um, I don't know why I've still actually got the book, but I, I should actually unhaul it. But because I won't ever read it again. Um, so I don't like things like, I, I like light and fluffy. I, I like a good, I haven't got a decent one handy, an old classic mass market um, historical romance. Um, so yeah, I probably don't have a very wide field, um, but I do read a lot within that field. I also very interested in old books. So I've got here, this is Lark Rise to Candleford, which I think I'm going to try and read this year. This used, was it actually dramatised in England a while back, a good while back, because I left England seven years ago. This cost me £3.95 at a book fair, and I've got a very old copy of, um, this is Pride and Prejudice. I don't even know when it was published. It doesn't say. Someone has written their name in it, though, in 1952. So I like little old books like that as well. Okay, so that's a little bit about me. I thought I would just do a wee brief um, overview of what I've done reading-wise in the last two, almost two years. Um, the big thing probably that I did is last, a year ago, it was a year ago pretty much, um, I brought... A Kindle. I was planning on being in America in December last year but with everything going on obviously that trip was cancelled and I thought a Kindle would be an easier way to have some reading but obviously not take up a lot of space. It still needs a cover but it doesn't really leave the house so it doesn't matter. Um, so that's the big thing. I've got, I, I'm not sure how many books I've got on it but it's by no means full. It's got 20 books or something on it. There's loads of space. I just, I'm a physical book person, really. Um, the other thing is, if you were someone who actually did, who watches this video when it goes up now, and who watched my videos two years ago, you might remember that I was raving about um, Lucinda Riley's Seven Sisters series. So I am up to date on that. The Sun Sister came out... Uh, it came, this came out in 2019, I think, um, and last year's book was meant to be book seven, but it's delayed. It's due out, I don't think I can find, yeah, the, so this was the book that came out um, in 2019, so that was read within 48 hours, it's a big one. Um, the seventh book was due out last November for me, but it's delayed, I believe, until about May of this year. As long as it comes out, it doesn't matter. The other series um, you may remember I was reading is um, Alison Ware's Six Tudor Queens. So I've read Anna of Cleve, which I thoroughly enjoyed. Um, it's probably of the four I've read of the series. It's my favourite. Um, I've got the fifth book. Oh, it's sitting here. I've got book five which I need to get on and get read um, because book six will be due out again in the middle of the year-ish for us here in New Zealand as well. So anyway, I am back. I'm going to give it a go. I'm never going to be the most prolific uh, booktuber there is, um, but hopefully I will uh, connect with a few people and you will enjoy seeing what I read and um, maybe take up a few of my recommendations. Right. I'm going to check this back, given that it is a one-take wonder, and hope it's okay, and get it up, 
and I will be back um, with my plans for the month and some hauls. Um, yeah, let's see how we go. All right, nice to be back, people, and I will talk to you soon. Bye for now.